this is Shanti from Shanti TV. So glad you are back to see me today. I am so glad to be here with you. Uh, I have had um, a lot of new subscribers, so welcome to my new subscribers. I am elated that you have decided to uh, come watch my channel. I love talking to you guys. Um, I love interacting with you. Uh, I interact with you here on YouTube and I interact with you on Instagram as well. I am on Facebook, but I don't post a whole bunch of stuff on, on my page on Facebook. It's mostly my stuff from Instagram. I'm a very visual person, so I just, I like Instagram, I like YouTube, I like seeing people, I like talking to people that way. So that's how I communicate. Um, I, on my last video, asked you guys uh, what else you would like to see and I got some great ideas, um, but I must post this next review for FitJock1 out there on Instagram. Uh, you have requested this and it, it, you've, it's been a long time coming and I apologize for taking so long to do this review, but FitJock1 requested that I review my Zippy wallet in the grand blue color, uh, which I noted was my favorite of September. So today we will be doing a review on the Zippy Wallet. So the Zippy Wallet, when you buy it from Louis Vuitton, should come in a box. Not all of you are getting boxes, and I'm not sure why, but it should come in a box. And it comes in this lovely dust bag, as you know, most Louis Vuitton come in. Here is the wallet. It is the Louis Vuitton Zippy wallet in the grand blue. I hope you can see the detail on this. So um, this is a brand new color that just came out, I want to say maybe around March, April, I think that's when I purchased it. Uh, I had been looking for a navy colored uh, wallet uh, because I just feel that this color is such a classic color and would go with a lot of things and I um, have actually a couple of different prints uh, that I'm going to show you a little later so you can see um, how this fits nicely with a lot of the bags that are in my collection. So that is why I picked this wallet. Um, this is probably my third wallet now. I have another Vernie wallet, uh, which is the compact wallet, and then I have a um, insulate organizer, which I did a review on, which I also love. Um, the reason that I wanted another uh, wallet was because when traveling, <laughs> I wanted to, um, I, if, if I was carrying uh, a bag that may have an open top or not, um, I just wanted the added security of having another zipper. Um, I didn't want my things to fall out. I wanted a place to keep all my receipts while I'm traveling. Uh, of my phone and so this is why I chose this um, wallet. So that's a little bit about why I chose the wallet. Let's get into the details of and so that's a little bit about why I chose this wallet. Now let's just get into the details. When you purchase a Vernier piece it normally comes with another piece of cloth inside and that's really so you can get the smudges off the Vernier. Um, one of the things that happens with uh, the Vernie pieces is that they do tend to hold fingerprints. I think some colors are probably worse than others. I didn't mind. I don't mind it on this. Um, it's so beautiful. It, it, I just, I don't see, I don't see the big fingerprints on it like I think maybe some others do. But uh, here is the actual um, tag. And it comes with the Monogram Vernie Care Booklet. And inside it basically tells you uh, what the product is made of. Um, 
and it gives you instructions on how to care for it. So it's basically a care booklet. You know, vernie, I have heard people getting color transfer on vernie. That is another reason why I picked a dark color. Although I do have the palm, uh, what I will tell you is that I do, if, if I do have the palm in my bag, I do make sure that I don't have any ink like surrounding it. Um, yeah, a little bit high maintenance for me, but um, the other thing I might do if I want to be really sure is I do keep it in the dust bag. It really stinks, but yeah, I do that. I'm one of those. You can call me one of those. On the outside, as you can see, this is what it looks like. It's got this beautiful zipper here which says Louis Vuitton and it has it on both sides. And for those Louis Vuitton lovers, yes, the sound of the zipper is what pulled me in, absolutely. It's got such a smooth zipper and those of you who have any zippered Louis Vuitton products, you know what I'm talking about. Um, on the inside, when you open it, it kind of looks like a file. <laughs> so for those of you who like organization, there you go. Um, I have a Prada story to tell you about, uh, and I'll tell you that in a minute. But um, on the inside, you have four credit card slots here on one side, four credit card slots here on the other side. On the inside, you also have another zipper for coins. And on, I want to show you this detail. On the actual zipper pull, you will see Louis Vuitton on both sides. <laughs> there you go. Okay. So you have a zippered pocket there. You have space there to keep receipts, space there to keep receipts, and space there to keep receipts. That's three open spots that you can use for receipts. In addition to this little pocket here, which is kind of more of a closed pocket, it pretty much stays closed, it's not as open, um, but you can keep like bills and things in there. Oops, you also have a pocket or a patch pocket on this side and then you also have a patch pocket on this side. So, my goodness, the number of things that you can carry in this wallet are amazing. Um, so, the story about Prada. So, I used to have a Prada wallet just like this, meaning the style. It was in Safiano leather, beautiful purple color. I hated it. I absolutely hated it and I was like, do I really want to jump into another zippy wallet? I hated that uh, Safiano leather zippy wallet from Prada. One of the issues that I have had with it is that it would annoy me when I opened it up, I wouldn't I would always pick the wrong side of where my card was that I needed to use, so that would annoy me. The other thing that annoyed me is on the side where you zip, it used to kind of catch. Um, and so I was really concerned about doing this. Um, one of the suggestions that the essay gave me, which I thought was a great suggestion, was to monogram have my initials put on one side so I would always know which side was which, which I, which I thought was a fantastic, um, I, I thought it was a great idea. Um, I typically don't tend to monogram my items um, just because it's a commitment. You know, maybe I have issues with commitment, but it's a commitment. And so I tend not to monogram my actual pieces. I'll monogram like, luggage tags and things like that that I can remove on and off. Anyway, so I didn't do that. 
Um, and I was a little skeptical about buying it, but what I noticed about this one versus the Prada, the Prada Safiano leather is a lot harder and doesn't have a lot of give while this had a lot more give. And to be honest with you, this opens up much wider than um, the Prada. So that allowed me to be able to see everything all at one shot without having to do the whole, which is what I was doing and it was annoying me. Um, if you can see here, you see how it just, it fans out and it opens really wide. So I don't really have an issue with I, the same issue that I had with the Prada wallet is not the same issue that I have with this. So, um, yeah. Uh, the other thing that I loved about this is that I could put my cell phone. This is a uh, iPhone 4S. Fits perfectly in there. I can put my hotel keys in there and I can zip this up and I can go out to dinner when I'm traveling and I can still have something that's um, a little bit more like a clutch in, you know, in my opinion. So some of you guys may have these chains. Unfortunately, Louis Vuitton, uh, I'm not sure what they're doing with this. I'm not sure if they're discontinuing this. I don't know what they're doing. Um, I was lucky enough to grab one. I can take this. I can hook it on to this, okay? And it looks like that. Now I haven't worn it this way, but it is always an option to wear it like that. The one, So you will be moving this with the zipper if you do decide to attach it to the zipper. Another thing that I wanted to show you is that um, there's a US passport. This fits in here without any issues. And then I have my phone in there too. It just it it's secured because of the zipper and um, I don't I just I don't have to worry about it. It's one piece that I can go out with and it's beautiful. I mean the next thing I want to show you is um, how it looks against different prints. Okay, so here is, um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that this is one of my favorite bags. Um, this is the Speedy B30, and I just want to show you, hope you can see this. I want to show you what it looks like against this print, against monogram print. That's what it looks like. Okay, here is my Azure Never Full, um, and obviously <laughs> the blue against this is just stunning. Um, it is the Grand Blue. It is a newer color, like I stated before, uh, from Louis Vuitton, and it is just gorgeous. Um, I love the functionality of the Zippy Wallet. I hope I did a proper review for you. Um, I know that there are other Zippy Wallet reviews out there, but I hope you enjoyed. Follow me on Instagram if you don't. I post there um, as much as I can, a lot more than I post on YouTube. Anyway, have a great rest of the week, and I will leave you with one of the quotes that I put on Instagram. Hang on, your time will come. You will know when the time is right for change. Don't be hasty when making important decisions. Be still, observe, and listen. God bless you.